In Hebrews 12 and verse 28, the inspired writer penned, Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. In this passage that talks about the Lord's kingdom and the need to serve God with reverence and godly fear, there is one key point that connects these ideas together, and that is the importance of gratitude. The writer of Hebrews explained that we are to show gratitude. Why? Because we receive a kingdom. This kingdom, the Lord's kingdom of which we can be a part, is superior in every way to the kingdoms of men. Jesus, the king over this kingdom, is seated far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come, Ephesians 1 and verse 21. While all earthly kingdoms will eventually come to an end, Christ's kingdom will endure forever, according to Daniel 2 and verse 44. This kingdom which is seen in the church is open to people of all nations, and God adds to this number th those who are being saved, Acts 2 and verse 47. Those who have obeyed the gospel have been added to the kingdom, and those who have yet to obey the gospel still have this promise extended unto them that they will be added to the kingdom if they will obey the gospel. And because we are able to be a part of the Lord's kingdom, we're to show gratitude. Not only are we, are we to be thankful for the kingdom itself, but we should also be thankful for escaping our previous state. We've been rescued from the domain of darkness and transferred to the kingdom of his beloved son, Colossians 1 and verse 13. If we are separate from Christ, we have no hope, Ephesians 2 and verse 12, but in him we have hope. Now we do not deserve our place in the Lord's kingdom, but we can be in this privileged place by the grace of God. And this thankfulness for being able to be a part of the Lord's spiritual and eternal kingdom is vital. This is why the writer of Hebrews said, by gratitude, we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. Now we often focus on the need to fear the Lord because of how this is tied to our purpose to fear God and keep his commandments, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Yet this attitude of thankfulness is equally important. We serve God acceptably with gratitude and reverence and fear. Friends, we cannot take one or the other. All of these must come together in order for us to render to God faithful service. Now, many people who live under oppressive and tyrannical civil rulers submit to them out of fear, but they're not thankful to them because they have no reason to be. We are to fear God because he is a consuming fire, but he is not a wicked dictator. Instead, he has abundantly blessed us for every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow, James 1 and verse 17. Therefore, friends, let us be sure that we show gratitude to God for the blessing of being part of his kingdom. Then with this attitude of thanksgiving, let us demonstrate our gratitude by faithfully obeying the Lord in all things. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today. And I would just like to remind our listeners that if you ever miss any of our daily programs or our Sunday morning program, that they're all available on the Pyburn Street Church of Christ YouTube channel. If you go to this channel and subscribe to it, you will automatically receive reminders or notifications any time that a new program is uploaded to that site. We're thankful for each one that joins us for this program. We pray that it is a blessing to you in your spiritual life, and we pray that you have a wonderful day today.